Welcome to Yupari Gaming. Today I'm gonna continue uh, Gold Road Chapters bonus quests, I think they are. Uh, let's head to Apocrypha. and let us see if it can pick up Athelia's trail. That path leads to the forbidden parts of the realm. Another way to reach the mythos, perhaps. Hermaeus Mora's private sanctum. Go on ahead and we'll see if I can do anything to slow them down. Looks like I have been here before. The skein leads us to that cave, Proxy. Yeah, looks like it. Captain I've Obvious. Heard of paths such as this. They can be found through mortals. Ophelia and her scion have breached my private sanctum. Enter the mythos and aid the one who knows. The one who knows needs us, Proxy. Just like at the loom, Mora could not portal us closer to the energy now contained in Athelia. Look what her very presence does to Apocrypha. We must hurry. Another path. How many wounds can reality sustain? A dead end. But the path should continue. You the light of the lamp unveiled the way. Keep going, Proxy. What havoc these changes must be wreaking in Apocryphus' core? Another dead end. Use the lamp. Clarity's light reveals the unseen. Let us continue. Let them fight. Another obstacle. Use the lamp here if you would. Fight only those which I have to. I think we need the lamp's light again. That. Preach would be awesome furnishing. A portal. Careful. I do not expect anything good to emerge. Remember, abolish the gathered Got energy from each of Abolish it. Portal is damaged. Gather more energy and do it again. Remember, abolish his power should we encounter more of these mirror morphs. I portals. wonder. Oh, I, did, I didn't check. Maybe I. I didn't even have to fight against those. Uh, whatever. That door bears a mark. Mora hides in his sanctum. I will transform this realm and make it his tomb. Set wards in place, my son. 
Fate's minions must not be allowed to interfere. Yes, my prince. None shall find the wards. We must locate those. The skein indicates that the wards are somewhere above. Look for a passage leading up. Ah, <sighs> sometimes the this is so stupid. Beauty, but they do Look not for a path which is which is marked on the map. Oh well. I don't mind that I don't really have to look for them. Okay. Let's see where I can get down. Just drop down. Okay, no. Oh, can I get back from here? The aesthetics of Miramore have a certain beauty. But they do not belong in Apocrypha. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Okay, so these ones I, I need to fight. One of the wards. Destroy. Well done. Let us find the next one. Too slow. Proxy. With the wards destroyed, the way into Hermaeus Mora's mm -hmm. private sanctum should be open now. No. Yes. And Torvasad. You have become have the very the threat I foresaw. A feeling. Only a threat to you, Mora. Can you not see? Reality collapses around you as fate spreads unravel. Your reality, Fatesia, not mine. Witness the ascension of the Prince of Paz to her rightful place of power. Keep draining, Mora, Sion. I will deal with his champions. I am the Unknown. I am the Dark Tomorrow. I am the last path you will ever walk. Warriors of Miramore, defend your prince! I should have. Yes, that there will be this damn thing is.
was lost, mortal. I must. did I see? Mortal, tell me what this means. That mirror. It showed me the truth. I have become the monster that Mora predicted. And I remember. I saw it too. As Mora sealed my prison all those eons ago, I realized at the end... He was right. I am the last tomorrow. What does that mean? The last tomorrow? It was what Mora saw when he examined my threads of fate. That I would become the Unweaver. The destroyer of reality. In that last moment, as the door to my prison slammed shut and my memories frayed, <laughs> I saw it too. But it was too late. Why was it too late? Because I had already set the compulsion in Torvasard's mind. I had already unspooled the thread to freedom. Now your actions have brought me a moment of clarity, but it will not last. Already I feel the power, the madness reasserting itself. But you saw the truth. You know what happened. You can change. A nice thought. But I am Daedra. I cannot change. And once the madness comes upon me, I doubt you will be able to contain me again. Forgotten memories and near limitless power blinded me. It led us exactly to the moment in time Mora feared. Can't you simply surrender? Not while the power of the loom and the energy I took from Hermaeus Mora flows through me. I must shed this power once and for all. Only then can the growing madness be quelled. All right. If you can shed the power, do it now. Hermaeus Mora, you were right. I am the danger to fate and reality. Let me return what is rightfully yours. Abandoning our sacred quest. No! We are too close. I claim the power. I will finish this. My siren has given me power. You must stop Torvasart. Despite it all, it seems we are fated to battle. Face me, mortal. Use the portal to help Barricon. 
Take me to no end, mortal. Doubt that you will. That was intense. I created my scions to save me from a fate I finally accepted. Though I had forgotten until you reminded me. No, my prince. I am Dramora. I am eternal. I will reform and complete the task you set before me. Such is the nature of Daedra. Never changing, never growing. I return your power to you, Mora, and I disperse mine into the void. And Torfasad, my most faithful. I consign your essence to nothingness, never to return. Be at peace, at last. Poor Torvisard, blinded by a compulsion I never should have bestowed. Fate's chosen has accomplished the tasks I set before them. Now, let us enter the portal and conclude this heinous business. Your prison awaits, Etheria. Etheria. It is time to resume your imprisonment. To what end? As long as I remain in this reality, the threat I pose persists. My power will always find a way to return to me. Such is the nature of our princely dispositions. The threads of fate agree with you, but what choice do we have? You are Daedra, immortal forever. I see no other path before us. Our natures confound us. 
We need a different perspective. One you so elegantly provided. Mortal, let us speak. My very nature makes returning me to prison a temporary reprieve at best. My power will always find a way back to me. And with it? The threat of the madness that overcomes me and can unravel reality. Mortal, talk with me more about change. Mortals change all the time. And we saw different versions of you on the many paths. Yes, my reflections. When we walked the many paths at the Outcast Inn, we visited realities where things had gone another way. I am different in those realities. But that is not choice. That is consequence. The aftermath of alternate events. Do the many paths uh, only lead to alternate realities? The many paths lead everywhere. Other places, other possibilities, parallel realities. You can go anywhere. If you can just find the path. If the threat of uh, reality comes from your power, what about some place where, the, uh, where there is no power? No power? A path where Daedra and Magicka do not exist. Hmm. It would need to be a place where my Daedric power held no sway and could gain no foothold. I feel the tendrils of my discarded power searching, reaching toward me. We must hurry, mortal. Is such path possible? What? Uh, what would we need to do to make it uh, make that happen? Indeed. Hermaeus Mora can find an acceptable path and I can show him how to open the way. And then we would need you to use Abolisher. To destroy the path. So that I could never return to this reality. Ask Mora if this will suffice. Sir... Speak, Fate's Chosen. You are deep in conversation with the Prince of Paths. What do your mortal eyes see that elude my Daedric senses? Since prison is a temporary solution at best, why don't you send Ithelia down a different path? A path that is better than the solution I devised so long ago? Inconceivable. Do not overstep your bounds, mortal. Isn't that why you chose uh, a mortal to help you? Because we see things differently from you. Do not use my own words against me. Still, you are correct in that regard. Very well chosen of fate. What do you suggest we do with Ithelia, to preserve our reality. Ithelia can find a distance reality without Magicka, where she would have no power and pose, uh, pose no harm. Leave this reality for a realm where she would have no access to her Daedric power? I had not considered that. I would need to confirm that the reality guarantees our safety, but how will we make certain that she would indeed be exiled forever? You find the path. Ithelia shows you how to open the way. Then I destroy the path with Abolisher. What say you, Prince of Paths? Will you accept eternal banishment in a realm? Where your power does not exist. I accept that fate, Hermaeus Mora. Then allow me to turn my gaze upon the many paths to find a worthy reality. And allow me to show you how to open that path. 
while I still have the will to do so. An excellent portal, Mora. Now... Wait. We lost a good friend to one of the reality tears. Is there anything that... The tears were not my creation. Only an effect of my passing. All I can offer is this wisdom to ease your mind. Now, you have shown we who are called Daedric Princes that there are always possibilities, even for us. <laughs> Farewell, mortal. Walk the path to an exile. Take Boethia's blade and destroy the portal. Cut off the path so that she may never return. Now, leave this place, mortals, and understand that you go with the gratitude of the one who knows. Okay, that was interesting. Athelia is gone, no longer a threat. But Proxy, we should speak. It appears we have done it, Proxy. Pathelia is no longer a threat to our reality. Your solution was not what I expected, and even Hermaeus Mora was surprised. But I suppose that was why he selected you as fate's chosen in the first place. Is it over then? Our reality is safe now. Athelia is gone and can never return. But the damage she caused to reality may still be a concern. For the moment, let us reflect on what this victory has cost us. And take this reward in recognition of your efforts. The one who knows insists. Mortal, the Great Eye requires one last task before your contract expires. Along with everything else. I guess this is okay. And then there is weak weakness to elements purple. Okay. Athelia exiled, Torvasar defeated, but the danger to existence persists. The tears in the fabric of reality. We need to repair them. How? Oh, I suggested a needle and thread, but my master has a different solution. So he sent me to find you. Again. What does Hermaeus Mora want me to do? Now, much of this is beyond me. But the Great Eye said you need to take the three relics that were used to defeat Athelia and place them near tears and nexus points in the fabric of reality. That should restore the frayed threads of fate. That's it. Just place the re three relics in specific locations. Well, no. You also need to cast a spell to release each relic's energy and send it flowing into the fabric of reality. Here's the spell scroll. And you'll need help, so I'll send one of us to each location to assist you. Alright, I'll place the relics and cast a spell. Where do I need to go? My tasks never end. Ugh. I'll mark your map. The locations where you need to place the relics are in Westweald, the Telvanni Peninsula, and Apocrypha. Look for one of your allies when you get to each spot. And make sure to bring the scroll and relics. Why these 
specific location screwed. Can't I just place the relics every, anywhere and cast a spell? Mortals, I think it must be your pitifully finite existences that make you so impatient. The threads of fate weave through the fabric of reality in complex and very specific patterns. To repair the tears, you must match that inestimable precision. All right, but why these lo locations? Uh, specifically. The reasons are unfathomable to the limitations of your mortal mind. But I'll try to explain. Through the machinations of Torvisard and Vargas, and the presence of Athelia, the tears at these specific locations resonate throughout the realms. So, whatever we do at these spots will likewise resonate and repair the entire fabric. Exactly! <laughs> Remember, the relics were created specifically to thwart Athelia's power. The energy they contain once released by the casting of the spell should restore the fabric of reality, keeping it from unraveling and repairing it. In theory. One moment, Proxy. The plan Scrooge has brought us sounds tenuous, but we must put our faith in the one who knows. Even with Athelia gone, the tears ripped in the fabric of reality shall continue to spread, like pulling on a loose thread until your tunic unravels. So you agree that reality is still in danger? The tears occurred unnaturally, so it is unlikely they will heal without help. If the plan provided by Hermaeus Mora works and the fabric of reality is repaired, then I can use the wisdom Athelia gave me to try to set one last thing to rights. Wisdom? You mean that exchange you had with her before Italia entered the portal? Yes. She allowed me to briefly experience the possibilities of the many paths. Gadain still exists somewhere, I think. If there is a chance. Hope is not something I usually put stock in. But Gadain believed in faith. How could I do less? Tears in fabric of reality. That sounds so metaphorical. That does not make the threat or the danger it presents any less real. Apocrypha and the Mundus both are built to top endless metaphors. Now, we have a plan to carry out, I believe. You are going to help us carry out this plan, right? Of course but perhaps not how you expect. I shall work from here to help stitch the threads of fate back together as you place the relics and cast the spell. Here, take the relics. You will need them for the task ahead. All right, I'll head for the site screwed marked on my map now. The relics, Mora's spell, and my magic together shall help you repair reality, Proxy. Scrooge, Tribune Alea and I will meet you at the sites, friend. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna do that on next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I catch you on next one. Bye.